Hey everybody, my name is Jason, also known as Pirate JC, and welcome to another Babylon video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very small but very powerful feature in Babylon called the Create Picking Ray. Essentially what this does is it casts a ray out of the camera in the direction that the camera is facing, out into infinity, and it can detect if it collides with any mesh inside of the scene. It's a very, very handy way to be able to select parts of uh, your scene and, and create really, really compelling experiences by clicking different elements. So without any further ado, let's jump right on in. You can get a link to this playground down in the description down below. It's a very, very simple scene. I basically just have a, pretty much an empty scene with a blue background and a cannon loaded. This cannon is a hint at an upcoming, a little tease at an upcoming video. I won't tell you too much about it, but it is something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna use for this video as well. Uh, so super simple, I have an arc rotate camera here that uh, has some starting parameters, a certain direction and distance. Uh, its um, arc rotate camera will always rotate around a certain point or a target. And in this case, that's basically origin because I'm giving it this uh, vector 3.0, so 0, 0, 0. And uh, then what I'm going to do is attach control, give it a lower radius limit so I can't zoom into the middle of it. Basically, I get stuck at a certain point and um, ooh, went too far away. <laughs> and then I have a directional light, and then here's where some of the fun begins. So I am going to import this mesh. This is the import mesh function uh, from this URL. Now, please feel free, this is uh, yours to use. Um, this is uh, located on my GitHub page uh, in my assets repo under Pirate JC, and it's the Canon GLB. And then once this mesh has been loaded, I'm gonna do something very specific with it. So let's take a look at this line here and what I'm doing, line 21. Um, to do this, I'm going to actually open up the inspector. That's this gear icon, and I can click inspector, open up nodes. So what happens is as soon as the objects I've told the scene to load have finished loading, it's going to fire this callback function, this on success callback function. And so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm doing something specific to my hierarchy here. Notice that I have a root, a Canon main root, and then I have two meshes, Canon main and Canon mount main. What I want to do is I want to be able to select in the scene only the cast iron cannon. I don't actually want the mount, the like wooden base or the wheels, just the cannon part. So I'm going to set the metadata tag of that specific, or the metadata property, excuse me, of that specific mesh. And so here's how I'm doing this. I'm saying, give me the first instance of anything that was loaded. In this case, it's root. And then I want to run this function that says get child meshes. So return all the child meshes. That's just these two. And then get the first one because the first one is Canon main. And then I'm going to say dot metadata and I'm going to set that property to be Canon so that I can filter on it later. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually say, okay, anytime in the scene that I click the mouse button, the left mouse button down, I'm going to run this function. I'm going to create a ray and this is the create picking ray. It's a very special ray that again goes right out of the camera in the direction of the um, of the cursor. And I'm going to give it the cursor's x and y location on the screen. So scene dot pointer x and dot pointer y. I have to give it a matrix to calculate. So that's the, I want to use the world matrix. I just want the location and world space. And so that's babylon.matrix dot identity. And then I'm going to give it the camera that the ray should be cast out of. In this case, just the only camera in the scene. I'm then going to say, okay, pick with ray the cat, the specific picking ray that we fired out of the cannon. And then I'm going to set that to equal hit. Okay. So then I'm going to say, if hit picked a mesh and that mesh has a metadata property equal to cannon, then I'm going to fire this create GUI button. And I'll explain that in a second. So essentially it's going to first say, did the ray hit a mesh? And if it did hit a mesh, did the ray also hit a mesh that had a metadata tag equal to Canon? And in this case, the only thing that has that metadata property set to Canon is the cast iron part of the Canon. And so then I'm going to do this create GUI button. Okay, let me close out the inspector here. What this is going to do is say, create a GUI canvas, then create a button for that canvas. It's going to have wor the words on it say Canon selected. And then I'm going to give it some uh, properties, a width, a height, uh, a color, a, a corner kind of roundness or corner radius, uh, and then a background color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it an action. Anytime that button is clicked, I actually want it to destroy the entire canvas. 
Okay, so let me let me do it this way. Uh, say it this way. I'm going to create this GUI button. We'll skip over the action for a second. Then I'm going to set that button into the very center of the screen, and then I'm going to say, okay, let's add that button to the GUI canvas. And then what I'm said is, anytime that button is selected, let's just destroy the entire canvas. And there's a reason I'm going to do this so that we can do it over and over again. So basically, what I have in this scene is, anytime I click, I'm clicking down here, click, click, click. Nothing's happening. Now I'm going to click on the Canon Mount main. Nothing's happening. Though I am selecting a mesh, I don't actually honor the second part of this if statement up here, um, which is to determine if I actually hit uh, something that has metadata property equal to Canon. But watch what happens when I do hit this. Boom, we fire that GUI button. And then I can basically do it over and over again. I can kill that and cycle repeats. And so that essentially is the whole scene today. Super big overview over how you can use the create picking ray to cast a ray out of the camera through the scene out to infinity and be able to select certain types of or certain meshes and get feedback back to action on based on which meshes were actually selected. I hope that's helpful for you. It's a super, super simple part of Babylon, super simple feature but it is incredibly powerful and you can do a ton with it. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have not had a chance to do so, please check out the other videos on our channel and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future updates. Thank you so much for checking it out and we'll see you next time.